Hey guys, it's February 9th, Tuesday. Um, I want to apologize for the fact that I've kind of been absent lately, with the exception of my weekly Friday update. Um, I've been really depressed and just kind of avoiding avoiding the camera, avoiding posting outside of my weekly updates and really avoiding people in my personal life as well um, and that's really not good you know I'm a person who suffers with you know bipolar disorder and I have my ups and my downs and um, you know I have a, a, a tendency to really 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 get down at times and that's kind of where I'm at right now and I think a lot of the reason for me being depressed in the past few weeks is because I have a tendency to base my personal decisions on what's best for other people rather than what's best for me and I've been trying to kind of focus on myself the past couple of months and I don't know that's hard for me I feel like I'm being selfish but at the same time I feel like I need to look out for myself and I need to just take a step back and just you know relax a little bit and you know a lot of that comes from me being on disability you know and it's it's not social security it's private insurance disability through my old job um, you know so there's like a three-year limit on that and it just got approved in December so, you know, it took me almost a year uh, to get approved and start receiving money from that. And, uh, you know, that 10 months that, that I wasn't getting the disability, I got unemployment for part of that, but it was very much a financial strain. And I've taken my last two months worth of disability money and caught up on the bills that I accumulated in the past year. So, you know, in March when I get that check, it'll really be the first check that the only thing I have to pay out of it is a couple of monthly bills for the house. And, uh, you know, my, my therapy appointment bill so you know I'm just getting to the point now where I can take a, a, a step back and, and really breathe um, I don't know for a long time I felt like crap you know because I didn't have the money that I was accustomed to coming in and You know, I just really felt like I was kind of worthless, you know, being home all the time. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I did all kinds of things around the house, and I still do. But I felt like I should be out there working. And I guess a lot of that comes from the fact that I had my first job when I was 11, washing dishes in a restaurant. Um, that a family friend owned and I have been working ever since um, I've never been more than two months tops without a job since I was 11 years old and I'll be 35 in April so you know with with a work history like that and just always being independent and having my own income and not really having to depend on anybody else um, it was a very hard change for me to make this past year 
and I thank God for Jason, you know, because he's been great through it all, you know, and he's never complained and never made me, you know, feel bad or worthless or anything like that. Um, those feelings, you know, stem completely from my own sense of being, but, you know, I'm at a point now where, um, you know, I don't have a vehicle, and I need a vehicle in order to go to school, and there's a good chance that, um, the company I get my disability from would pay for me to have, like, a vocational rehab fund for school, um, which would be excellent, because then I wouldn't have to pay out of pocket, but, I don't know, I don't want to spend money on buying a car in order to go back and forth to school, you know, and if they don't pay for school, I don't want to spend my money to go to school right now, I'd rather put money in the bank and sit on it until I can have top surgery. I mean, that's just like my number one priority right now, and I don't want to spend any huge amount of money on anything else. So, I think a lot of my depression is the fact that I'm not used to putting myself in, in what I want before anybody else. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do that now. I'm trying to focus on what I want for me. And I kind of feel bad about it. You know, I don't, I don't know how to feel good about doing for myself. And, I don't know. You know, in the back of my mind, I know I should, I should buy a car. I should, you know, enroll in school and, and get the ball rolling on, on that whole situation. But I just, I really want to have top surgery and get farther along in transition before, you know, I really focus on anything else. So I don't know. That's where I'm at. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to just ramble on about the situation and I certainly don't mean to bring anybody down. Uh, but if you have any words of wisdom or advice to give me, you know, I'm open to it, and I would more than appreciate it. Um, I guess I'm going to go for now. Uh, if I don't make another video before Friday, then I will definitely post on Friday for my six-week update, um, and my fourth tea injection. But I hope everybody else is doing well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.